Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a really nice Diophantine equation with factorials. We have one factorial times two factorial times three factorial dot 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 all the way up to and including 100 factorial that huge product divided by m factorial and that is equal to k squared m and k are positive integers and we're going to be solving for them that's why this is called a diophantine equation now obviously this problem was phrased a little differently in its original form but i wanted to modify it it's pretty much the same thing so basically we're going to try to take out one of the factorials among one factorial to 100 factorial and the rest will be a perfect square in other words so which factorial should be taken out kind of like a puzzle right so that the remaining product is a perfect square i mean as it is it's not right you probably could check Okay, let's go ahead and see how we can handle these kinds of problems because factorials tend to get bigger pretty quickly and think about the product of all these numbers. I don't know how big that's going to be. You can definitely check it out on Wolfram Alpha. All right, let's go ahead and find out. So we have 100 factorials in the numerator and that's a product. So I'm going to split those up into pairs. So I'll be, I'll be considering... 1 factorial times 2 factorial. And I'm, I'm not going to put the product symbol or multiplication sign in between. Hopefully that is understood when I put those two things together. 1 factorial times 2 factorial, maybe I'll write it for the first one, is the same thing as 1 times 2, right? Okay, what about the 3 factorials times 3 factorial times 4 factorial? That is going to be 3 factorial times 4 times 3 factorial. Notice that 4 factorial can be expanded, but since 3 and 4 are, I was going to reciprocals, but they are consecutive integers, we only need to do it once. So these two factorials make a perfect square. Remember, our goal is to make this product a perfect square with the elimination of one of the factors. So this can be written as 3 factorial squared multiplied by 4. 4 is kind of like the leftover, okay? And then we're going to do this one more time just to get the pattern. You probably need a couple, you know, examples. 5 factorial times 6 factorial. And again, by the same token, it's just going to be 5 factorial squared because that's included in 6 factorial. But you'll also have a leftover 6. So far, so good. Awesome. Now, we're going to continue the pattern, the process, all the way up to the end, which is 99 factorial times 100 factorial so large right and this is gonna be 99 factorial squared for the same reason times 100 awesome now why is this important why did i you know separate them into pairs because each pair includes a perfect square and an even number you get the idea think about it it'll hopefully make sense now let's go ahead and multiply these equations side by side, which means I'm going to multiply one factorial times two factorial times three factorial times four factorial all the way on the left hand side, all the way down, and the same thing on the right hand side, all the way down. What am I getting from either side, right? Left hand side is going to be one factorial, right? Times two factorial times three factorial dot 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 all the way up to 100 factorial, which is my numerator right and that is going to equal that is going to equal the right hand side and obviously if you wanted to follow the exact same pattern you could also write this as one factorial squared so the product is going to be one factorial squared times three factorial squared times five factorial squared dot 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 all the way up to 99 factorial squared those are all odd factorial squared. Notice that. And then a bunch of even numbers, which is times 2, times 4, times 6, dot, 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 all the way up to 100. You see, by separating those factors, we were able to find some perfect squares. And that's just perfect. But we need to make it more perfect, right? 
All right, great. So all numbers are perfect or all problems are perfect, but some problems are more perfect than others. So we can make it better. And here's how. This is the product of evens. Can I express it using factorials? Absolutely. But you got to remember one thing. Evens are two times an odd. Every even number can be written as two times an odd number, correct? Because they're all divisible by two. So our product, the numerator, right, which is this one. Let me rewrite it. And I'm just going to skip the three for now for space. And this guy over here is one factorial times two factorial times three factorial dot 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 all the way up to oops I was supposed to write the odds only I get confused so this is one factorial times three factorial times five factorial all the way up to 99 factorial all squared because uh, the product of squares will be the square of the product get the idea times now this can be written as two times one times two times two times two times three all the way up to 2 times 50. So I'm going to go ahead and separate the 2's. They're going to give me, of course, the first 2's only, and not the second 2 here. So that's going to give me the following. I have 50 pairs, so this is going to be 2 to the power 50, and then the rest will be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 dot dot dot, all the way up to 50. In other words, that's going to be 50 factorial. Does that make sense? That should be a good clue. Let's go ahead and write the rest of this expression. And then we're going to figure out how to make this a nice, perfect square. All right? Cool. So that's what I got for my numerator. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the numerator. That's my numerator. Let me write it. This square times. And by the way, 2 to the power 50 is 2 to the power 25 squared. Therefore, that is also a perfect square. Now I'm supposed to divide this by m factorial. And I'm supposed to get a perfect square. Awesome. Here's how it works. If m is equal to 50, then 50 factorial cancels out, leaving us with a perfect square. Isn't that awesome? So this implies that m is equal to 50 because we got 50 factorial equals m factorial so that they can cancel out. And this just implies m equals 50, obviously, for smaller numbers like 1 factorial and 0 factorial are equal, but that's the only case. When large numbers are involved, of course, they're equal. So m equals 50, and that also implies the k value. What do you think is the, the k value? k is just going to be the inside, in other words, the square root of what's left, which is 1 factorial times 3 factorial times 5 factorial, dot, 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 all the way up to 99 factorial, multiply by 2 to the power 25. Do you like that? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.